Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, we are going to start the week number three. Vamos a empezar lo que es la semana número tres. We are going to work with the section number four of the platform. Vamos a trabajar en la sección cuatro de la plataforma. And for today, we are going to construct a vocabulary. Vamos a construir un vocabulario. Well, in this case, are two different vocabularies but they are related. Son dos vocabularios que están relacionados entre sí. And we are not going to have the document. We are not going to have the same document in which we were working. In this case, I have a presentation for you. Es una presentación, eh, ya que vamos a tener diferentes imágenes. Eh, y para que se haga un poco más cómodo y un poco más entretenido, we are going to do it on a presentation that is something uh, different uh, because we are going to talk about um, clothes and, of course, we are going to talk about colors. Vamos a hablar de ropa, pero también vamos a hablar de lo que es lo, o de lo que son los colores. Uh, but give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Just give me a moment for this. because I need to add something for you. Okay, in this case, we're going to see the presentation, but in this case, we are going to have the, um, the phrase here and we are not going to have it on the document. I'm going to add or mm, I'm going to uh, share with you the uh, presentation. I guess that I'm going to show you, uh, I mean, to, to share with you the information of the presentation um, like this, así como lo tengo en este caso. Vamos a, a pasar la presentación not uh, write the information on the document. Lo vamos a hacer de esa forma. Lo vamos a tener acá y yo se lo voy a compartir así como lo tenemos aquí. Um, brown. And black. Yes, I think. We are going to construct a vocabulary. We are going to listen to information. And, of course, we are going to have some practices. In these weeks, we are going to, um, we are going to make some uh, short practices. Vamos a hacer algunas prácticas cortas. Um, they are not kind of complicated. Uh, we are just make some uh, statements, uh, say some ideas, something like that. Don't feel like we are going to make something kind of. A extreme or something like that. No, don't worry. It's kind of short things. So in this case, we're going to see what is the presentation that I am talking about. That is this one. Let me show you. This one is a presentation that we are going to have. That is this one. And we have here, this one is not thesis. What is this? This is not the information. Okay, this is the beginning and we have here our um, phrase. This is the, the phrase that we are going to have here, but let me show you like a bigger, like bigger. And it's charging. Okay, this one is the phrase that we have for this week. All of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Todos nuestros sueños se pueden hacer realidad si tenemos el coraje de perseguirlos. 
This is a phrase of Walt Disney. So we need to, to think about this kind of phrases to achieve our goals. If you have a dream, you need to follow them and also you need to, to have the courage to make that a uh, dream come true. Tenemos que eh, tener el valor, ¿verdad? Para poder afrontar, para poder seguir todos nuestros sueños y para que se cumplan. If we have a dream and we are not working for it, it is going and it is not going to be like true. But if we have a dream and we work for that dream and we are making things happen, we are going to make this dream come true. Si tenemos un sueño y no hacemos nada por él, solo tenemos nuestro sueño y está ahí y ya. Eh, no va a suceder, no, no se va a cumplir. But eh, if we have this dream and we work for it, we are going to make it. Lo vamos a lograr si trabajamos duro por ello y hacemos que las cosas sucedan. Now, I was uh, talking that we are going to have a, a vocabulary. And in this case, we are going to have the first vocabulary because we are going to have two. But for this one, we have this table of contents. Este es like um, la conclusión, el, el, los temas que vamos a ver. In this case, we are going to have a vocabulary one and vocabulary two. The vocabulary one is the clothes and the vocabulary two are the colors. Tenemos los eh, colores y también tenemos lo, la ropa. We are going to have some practices and we are going to construct some information. But I'm going to stop this one for a moment because we are going to go to the platform. Vamos a ir a la plataforma y vamos a escuchar la primera información. And in this case, it's related to clothes. Vamos a ver sobre algo sobre la ropa. But we are going to listen the pronunciation and also the vocabulary that we have on the video. And also we are going to see again the image on this uh, presentation. And we are going to make a short like practice. But give me a second, the platform is charging. Vamos a esperar un momento ya que la plataforma está cargando, así que we need to be patient. Okay, it's done. Okay, we have the video here. So let me show you what is this video about. Vamos a compartir incluso el sonido para que podamos usar este vocabulario. So this is the vocabulary, clothes vocabulary. So let's pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn clothes vocabulary, particularly clothes which you wear for work and for leisure. As you can see on the screen, the clothes which are on the image towards the left hand side are for work and the ones towards the right hand side are clothes for leisure. Let's practice by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Clothes for work. Tie. Belt. Suit. Coat. Shoes. Blouse. Scarf. Skirt, high heels, raincoat, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, sweater, jeans, gloves, boots, 
cap, t-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Now is your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. I would like for you to talk about the clothes that you wear for work and the clothes that you wear for leisure. If the clothes are not mentioned here, you should add them. For example, I wear a tie for work. I wear shorts at home. After you do this, please share your work in our discussion forums. Hat Okay, we have here the two vocabularies, or in this case, we have two different kind of uh, clothes that we can use in um, our daily uh, situation, daily life. And we have one that is for work and the second one that is for leisure. Tenemos dos tipos de ropa acá. Tenemos el que es para el trabajo y el que es para eh, salir, ¿verdad? Para andar en nuestro... Eh, en la mayoría de, de tiempos, pero no se preocupen, voy a, a mostrarles la imagen on the, eh, on the presentation. Vamos a ver esa misma imagen en la presentación. So, again. This kind is a, kind of a, a slow, I think. Okay. So we have the first thing that is the vocabulary. Okay, this is the image. So in this image, we have two different things. Tenemos dos cosas diferentes. Ropa que utilizamos cuando estamos trabajando, como son. Um, en el caso de los hombres, a shirt, una camisa, que en este caso son las camisas un poco más formales, a tie, que es la corbata, a belt, que es el cinturón, a jacket, que es la chaqueta que se utiliza, um, pants, but in this case there are formal pants, son eh, pantalones formales, shoes, que son sus zapatos, eh, que nosotros le decimos zapatos de lustrar, que son zapatos formales, y en a coat. In our cases, we are not going to use coats because um, our uh, weather is not like this. No vamos a utilizar abrigos porque nuestro clima no lo permite. In the case of the uh, girl, we have a blouse. Tenemos una blusa. We have a scarf, igual, ¿verdad? Aquí en este caso tienen como los accesorios. Esta es como una pequeña pañoleta, una pequeña bufanda. Eh, she's wearing a skirt, eh, está utilizando una falda, and she is using heels, o high heels, que son los tacones. But also we can use a dress, un vestido, and a raincoat. Eh, en este caso, pues igual, no es como que todo el tiempo eh, tengamos un rainy weather, eh, una eh, temporada lluviosa, entonces no es necesario llevar como los raincoats. Luego, en el clothes for leisure, eh, es como para el día a día, eh, no necesariamente para el trabajo, sino cuando vamos al súper, estamos en casa. Different kind of uh, uh, elements. And in this case, we have for the girl that she is wearing different things. But if you can see, they are like not the kind of clothes that we are going to use. Uh, because in this case, they are talking about... Um, uh, that kind of clothes that we can use when it's like uh, kind of cold, cuando está bastante frío. But in this case, we are not going to use this kind of uh, clothes. No vamos a utilizar este tipo de ropa normalmente. But she is wearing a hat, está utilizando un gorro. She is wearing a sweater, está utilizando un suéter. 
gloves, guantes, no is using a cap, está utilizando una gorra, a uh, the shirt, una camiseta, eh, he is using shorts, está utilizando un par de pantalones cortos, socks, calcetines, sneakers, que son este tipo de eh, tenis. But we also have pajamas, que son las pijamas, la ropa para eh, dormir. And we have a swimsuits, tenemos ropa para ir a la piscina, ¿verdad? Los trajes de baño. So, in this image, we have some elements that we can use when we are talking about clouds. But also, we are going to construct more information eh, related to this vocabulary. And in this case, we have here the next image. Let me see. Okay. So we have here this kind of clothes. And in the first case, uh, we have two elements. The first one, what is the name of the first element? ¿Cuál es el nombre del primero? Short. 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 Excellent. Shorts. Que Short. en español, very good. Lo transformamos a pantalones cortos. In the second one, what is the name of the second element? ¿Cuál es el nombre del segundo? Pants. Pants. Very good. Pants. Next one. What is this? We have three elements here. A skirt. A skirt. Okay. La primera es a skirt. Una falda. The second one. Dress. Okay. A dress. En este caso podemos llamarlo simplemente dress o también podemos decirle mini dress. Cuando son vestidos cortos. And the number three. But. Ah, uh, it could be boots. Eh, eh, boots or boots. But also it can be high heels or just heels. Pueden ser botas, eh, tacones, tacones altos. Different names. Eh, next one. What is the name of the first one? ¿Cómo se llaman los primeros? A sneaker. A sneaker. Very good. A sneakers. The second one? A, sh a shirt or a t-shirt in this case. Puede ser una camiseta o camisa. Dependiendo, ¿verdad? De los elementos que tenga. Next one. What is the first one? A sweater. A sweater. Okay. A sweater. And the second one? ¿Cómo se llama el segundo? Blows? Mm, no. The shirt? It's a shirt, but what kind of shirt? Okay, this kind of um, clothes, it's called a sleeveless. A sleeveless. Que um, en español estamos diciendo sin mangas. But give me a second, permítame un segundo. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so in this case, we can call them sleeveless or we can call them tank top. Se puede llamar camiseta sin mangas o camisa sin mangas o se le puede llamar tank top, que es casi lo mismo, ¿verdad? Este tipo de eh, camisas que utilizamos en muchos de los casos bajo la, la ropa, ¿verdad? Bajo una camiseta, bajo una blusa, bajo una camisa formal. 
Entonces tenemos dos tipos, el tank top o el sleeveless. Next one. We have some accessories. Tenemos algunos accesorios. What is the name of the first one? Lazy. Some lazy. Ah, we have this one. Uh, we have two different kinds. These ones are sunglasses. Estos son los lentes para sol, que obviamente son eh, diferentes. And then we have these ones. There are just glasses, like this. But we have in the image the sunglasses. The next one, what is the name of the next one? ¿Cómo se llama el siguiente? Mm. Watch. Ah, very good, a watch. Next one, let's see. What is the first one? ¿Cómo se llaman los primeros? Earrings. Ah, very good. Earrings. And the next one? Socks. 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 Very good. We have socks. So we have just um a couple of elements. We're not going to have like the whole thing. Eh, no vamos a, a hacer como una división entre ropa de hombre, de mujer, de invierno, de verano. We're just going to have some elements eh, referring to some eh, clothes, some vocabulary. We're not going to make a lot of things related to this part. Now, we have the first practice. We are going to see what is this one. What is this practice about? If you can see here, we have two different uh, elements. We have clothes for uh, warm weather and clothes for cold weather. Tenemos elementos de dos tipos. Eh, ropa para un clima cálido, caluroso y ropas para el invierno o para un um, clima frío. You are going to think about different elements that we can use for this uh, kind of weather. Vamos a pensar en ropa que podemos utilizar para un ambiente cálido, caluroso, y para uno donde hace mucho frío. Para esta práctica, vamos a tener five minutes to think about the elements or the clothes that we can use uh, with every Weather. Vamos a tener cinco minutos para pensar los elementos o los tipos de ropa que vamos a utilizar para cada uno de estos climas. So, we have five minutes. Let's go with the practice.
Ok, we're going to see. Vamos a ver qué tipo de vestimenta o qué tipo de elementos van a utilizar. I think that I'm going to give time to Gloria. Gloria, what kind of clothes do you use when it is a uh, warm weather and poor cold uh, weather? Sure. Okay. What else? Sunglasses. Ah, okay, sunglasses. Cup. A cup. Someone else? What what other elements do you use? You also for warm weather. Okay. We can use elements, as you can say, uh, for the warm weather or the, like, very hot weather. In our cases, we are, like, estamos como acostumbrados nosotros a el, eh, a la temporada calurosa, al tiempo caluroso. Eh, en, en nuestro país no es eh, tibio, no es como uh, kind of, it is really hot. Es bastante caliente, ¿verdad? Estamos acostumbrados a que haga mucho calor. So, in this case, we can use shorts, we can use eh, tank tops, we can use shirts, t-shirts. In the case of the girls, they can use a skirt, they can use dresses or mini dresses. Um, eh, this kind of eh, clothes that make us kind of eh, cool, que nos puedan hacer sentir un poco menos acalorados. En el caso de cuando hace cal, eh, frío, that is not really uh, common here, no es tan común. Eh, in some eh, parts of the country, yes, I know. But in other parts of the country, it is not. Estamos hablando quizás que en la zona oriental es como que menos, ¿verdad? El, el, lo de la parte eh, fría. Es más que todo... Eh, caluroso, ¿verdad? Un poco eh, like that. Pero cuando hace frío, we use sweaters, we use eh, caps, we use like a eh, kind of pants, jeans, eh, because it is raining or something like that. Eh, we use, it is not like very common to use gloves. No utilizamos eh, guantes, por lo menos no tan seguido. Um, socks, And also we can use boots. Podemos utilizar botas, tanto hombres como mujeres. Más que todo cuando llueve, porque es kind of complicated to have wet feet when it's raining. Eso de, de tener los pies mojados es como que no muy agradable y también nos podemos enfermar mucho más rápido. So, we have like different elements that we can use through these uh, weathers. En, en nuestro país no es común que digamos, ah, en la primavera y el otoño. Entonces, por esa parte es que no utilizamos los cuatro, porque eh, es más que todo o verano o invierno, and that's it. But we can, like, divide the, the winter with uh, winter and also a uh, fall. Podemos utilizar también el, 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 um, el invierno y lo podemos dividir con lo que es el otoño, un poco, ¿no? And the eh, summer with the spring. Y el verano con un poco de eh, primavera, porque en ciertos momentos del año eh, las plantas empiezan a, a tener más flores, frutos, and all of that things. So that's why we can like have kind of things um, of the other weathers. Let's see. What is the second thing? So we have a question here. What are your favorite clothes and accessories? ¿Cuáles son sus eh, prendas de vestir favoritas y cuáles son sus accesorios favoritos? For this one, you are going to write on the chat your favorite clothes and your favorite accessories. En el chat, ustedes me van a escribir cuáles son sus prendas de vestir favoritas y sus accesorios favoritos. For example, in my case, I really like to use... Um, Jeans, uh, I like to use um, oversized uh, shirts. I like to use 
a, a ring. I like to use, um, what else? Dresses, but long dresses. And I don't like to use like tank tops or a blouse, uh, a blouse, I mean, um, because I feel like kind of, I don't know. I'm gonna feel kind of good. And also I like to use shorts and and pants and all of those things. Me gusta utilizar, en este caso podemos decir, me gusta utilizar eh, jeans, o me gusta utilizar shorts, o me gusta utilizar eh, skirts, faldas, en el caso de, de las chicas. En el caso de, de los chicos pueden decir, I like to use pants, eh, jeans, shorts, t-shirts, shirts, eh, I like to use bracelets, Uh, I like to use necklace, I like to use earrings, I like to use watch, sunglasses, or something like that. Vamos a pensar en cuáles son nuestras prendas favoritas y nuestros accesorios favoritos. And then we are going to write on the chat that information, and I'm going to read your messages to see what are your favorite uh, accessories and clothes. So let's go. Okay, I'm going to begin reading the message that we have here. Vamos a empezar leyendo qué información tienen ustedes acá o qué información pusieron ustedes por acá. Okay, let's see. I like to use jeans, t-shirts, sneakers or boots, and I like to use a watch. Very good. It's like very um comfortable. Es bastante... Eh, eh, a uh, cómodo utilizar ese tipo de, de ropas. I like it very much. Um, short jeans, tennis, earrings, watch, tails. Uh, in this case, we can say um, scrunchies, las eh, cosas para el cabello, I think. Uh, hooks, sometimes sunglasses, okay. 
shorts, sunglasses, earrings, a dress, and watch. Okay, very good. A dresses, palazzos, blues, sandals, sports shoes. Your favorite accessories are earrings, chains, watches, and headbands. Oh, I like to use hand headbands. I mean, headbands too. Uh, for warm, tank top, short, flip-flop. Ah, I like to use flip-flops. I have my favorite flip-flops to be in my house. Um, bikini, sunglasses, uh, for cold jeans, shirt jackets, boots, and a hat. Okay. Um, I like to use jeans, short, blues, earrings, watch, and sunglasses. Very good. I like to use bracelets, earrings, and uh, I mean, a uh, watch. En el caso de, de, de hablar de relojes que utilizamos para las muñecas, o sea, el que andamos nosotros así, así um, no le vamos a llamar uh, clock, eh, es diferente. Así que le vamos a llamar watch. Then for this weather, I like to wear shorts and shirts, like short shirts, like crop tops, I, I, I think, crop tops, and sport shoes and accessories like rings and earrings. Very good. Jeans, dress, t-shirt, shorts, tennis, and my favorite accessories are earrings. I can use earrings. No puedo utilizar eh, aretes. I like to wear a blouse, pants, shorts, a watch, shoes, and socks. I like to use dress, jeans, blouse, earrings, watch, and bracelet. Uh, let me see, let me see something. I just have messages from just one man. Let me see. Oh, it's just one. Solo, solo tenemos un eh, eh, participante masculino. It's kind of interesting. Okay, so you have your favorite clothes, the, the, your favorite things that you want to, to use or that you like to use. In my case, I um, I prefer to use like this kind of uh, comfortable clothes, ropa que sea muy cómoda. Uh, I don't like to use uh, very specific uh, clothes because I feel like uncomfortable. Uh, no me siento tan cómoda con ciertas uh, prendas de vestir. Ah, uh, we have another message. Tenemos otro mensaje. Bracelets, fancy dresses. Oh, very good. Tennis, shoes, high heels, rings with brilliant or with diamonds, I guess. Excellent. Entonces, um, hay cierto tipo de ropa que no me siento muy cómoda de utilizar, pero para mi trabajo yo utilizo pues este tipo de, de, de ropa. I am that kind of person that I don't like um, heat and hot weather and all of these things. No me gusta para nada lo que es el calor o el, el, el clima muy caliente, muy caluroso, um, porque yo tiendo a sudar bastante. Entonces, uh, no me gusta. Me siento like sticky. Podemos decir, me siento un poco como pegajosa, something like that. Entonces, hay, hay ciertos, um, ciertas prendas que, que no, no me favorecen en ese sentido y me siento incómoda, como lo son las uh, camisas con mangas muy largas, like these ones. These ones I can use it in, ha in my house because I have my eh, fan over here and I am not like um, in the heat. No estoy como en, en la parte más calurosa. Because in the place that I am working, it's very uh, hot. En el lugar donde yo trabajo, es bastante caliente. Eh, porque está en el centro de la ciudad. 
y porque son muchos niños con los que trabajamos. Entonces, como hay muchas personas en el mismo lugar, es mucho más caliente. So, I prefer to use like a blues or t-shirts that are kind of formal, que son como medio formales, but uh, it's for, for the same thing. I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of blues with long sleeves. Tengo muchas camisas con las mangas largas. I don't know why. No sé por qué, quizás me parecen bonitas en el momento, but I don't use those uh, blouses for the, the same thing. I don't uh, like, don't like the, the, the heat. No me gusta el, el calor y, el, y todo eso. But, you know, when I am in home, I am just using my, my t-shirts and things like that. Now, topic number two. Vamos con el, top, el tema número dos que está relacionado con el tema uno, pero en este caso vamos a hablar de los colores. So, in the first thing, you have here an image in which you can see some words. We have some examples of the colors. Tenemos algunos ejemplos de los colores. We have white, dark gray, brown, light gray, beige, dark brown, gray, light brown, and black. En la primera parte tenemos como esta gama de colores del blanco, el beige y el eh, gris y el negro. Porque tenemos el blanco, el gris oscuro, el café, gris claro. Tenemos el beige, que ya sabemos que es como un... Um, we cannot say like color piel. Hay personas que se han acostumbrado a decir color piel, but it's just like beige. Tenemos el, el café oscuro. Tenemos gris, tenemos un café más claro y tenemos negro. Then, in the other image, we have red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. Tenemos diferentes eh, estilos y diferentes tipos de colores. Tenemos red, que es rojo, pink, rosa, orange, el naranja, yellow, amarillo, light green, que es el, el verde claro, el green, que es el quizás el, 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 el base, ¿verdad? La forma base de los colores o de la gama de verdes. Tenemos dark green, que es un color más oscuro, un, un verde oscuro, light blue, que es el celeste, blue, el azul, y dark blue, que es el azul negro, azul oscuro. Y por último tenemos el purple que son como eh, los más comunes, ¿verdad? You are going to be very, um, I don't know, like, is, let me stop this one. Quizás se van a sorprender un poco, o quizás no, I don't know, I'm more, um, de la gama de colores que vamos a, a presenciar in this session. I have uh, the basic colors, We are going to see the basic colors. Vamos a ver los colores básicos o los colores base. But also, we are going to see the shades of those colors. Vamos a ver la gama de colores que representan a cada uno de esos colores básicos. And you are going to find a lot of uh, words. But first, we are going to listen a conversation that is called, It's a disaster. Es un desastre. You are going to find this conversation kind of funny, but maybe you are going to remember some situations in your life. Quizás hemos tenido alguna de estas situaciones eh, alguna vez en nuestras vidas. O tal vez no. Quizás somos muy cuidadosos con la ropa. I don't know. Pero puede llegar a suceder. Entonces, vamos a, a escuchar esta conversación que se llama It's a Disaster, que tiene que ver con los colores, but in a different way. Aquí lo vamos a aprender. A, 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 no aprender, a aplicar en una conversación. And this one is not a good conversation. It's kind of bad. Porque es un poco mala, porque sucedió una situación un poco mala. So, we are going to listen and then we are going to talk about this conversation a little bit. So, let me share the screen with the sound to listen this conversation. Vamos a escuchar esta conversación. So, pay attention to the situation. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real 
conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Wait, I think that I have problems with my connection. I don't know. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Green. Dark green. Light blue. Blue. Dark blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! It is mine. It's a disaster! Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with, that will be great. If it's just you, I would still encourage you to practice on your own. Blue. Purple. Now, we're going to listen. Okay, this is the conversation. In the first part, we have the, the colors that we have on the presentation. And now we have this conversation. En la imagen, desde que vemos la imagen, ya podemos determinar que algo malo está sucediendo en ese contexto. And we have, like, some ideas. And it says, great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? Y dice, excelente, nuestra ropa ya está seca. Pero hace la pregunta, where is my new blues? ¿Dónde está mi nueva eh, blusa, mi nueva camisa? And the other question, what color is it? ¿Qué color es? It's white, es blanca. Desde ahí ya vamos viendo que está sucediendo algo raro. Here is a light blue blues. Aquí está una camisa celeste. Is it yours? Es tuya? No, it's not mine. Wait, is it mine? It is a disaster. Le dice que hay una camiseta, uh, I mean, una camisa, una blusa celeste que sí le pertenece. Y ella dice que no, pero después la mira y dice, sí, es mi camisa, es un desastre. Oh no, all of our clothes are light blue. Toda nuestra ropa es color celeste. Here is the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. ¿Qué pasó en esta situación? Metieron a la lavadora un nuevo par de eh, vaqueros eh, celeste, I mean, azules. ¿Qué pasa con muchos pantalones nuevos? Que al ser la primera lavada, pues se le sale el color. Y el problema es que puede llegar a manchar la, la ropa que está ahí mismo. Entonces, ahí estaba el problema. Ella metió sus pantalones jeans a la lavadora y perdieron su color y empezaron a manchar la demás ropa y por eso todas quedaron de color celeste. Now, we are going to have a look, just a look, of the colors that we are going to learn. Vamos a ver un poco de los colores que vamos a estar aprendiendo. And in this case, we are going to talk about the different colors. We are going to talk about different shades. So in this case, we are going to see the first one. We are going to see here and here. Okay. 
Okay, in the first one, we are going to see basic colors and shades of red. Vamos a ver colores básicos, o sea, los colores que nosotros ya conocemos, que estamos muy acostumbrados a ellos, y vamos a ver la gama de los rojos, shades of red. That's why I have this image in the uh, slide, because we have the color red here. So let's see this one. It's kind of complicated, but you see, we have different colors here. On the basic ones, we have red, blue, yellow, green, orange, purple, pink, brown, black, white, gray, eh, silver, and gold. En los colores básicos tenemos estos que ya hemos visto y hemos trabajado, que es el rojo, el azul, el amarillo, el verde, el naranja, el morado, el rosa, el café, el negro, el blanco, el gris. Tenemos también, incluso aquí, el plateado y el dorado, que son colores que incluso nosotros utilizamos. Then, in the shades of red, que es la otra imagen, la gama de los rojos, si se fijan, son un montón de colores. Y tenemos diferentes nombres. We have crimson, scarlet, ruby, burgundy, algunos nombres son um, kind of funny. And I, I have like an idea about this one. Eh, no sé si alguna vez ustedes jugaron ese juego popular que se hizo popular hace años que nosotros le llamábamos o se le llamaba bachillerato stop que es este juego donde ustedes utilizaban una hoja y tenían que escribir el nombre de una persona, el apellido, el color, el animal, la fruta, el país, uh, different elements, with a specific letter. Si no lo jugaron, es un, es un juego tipo, I don't know, eh, pero es bastante eh, divertido porque nos hace pensar en palabras que lleven eh, la misma letra, o sea, que empiecen con la letra que se nos ha propuesto. And in some games, we tend to use a different name of colors. Teníamos como diferentes eh, nombres de los colores. Y aquí podemos ver parte de eso. Por ejemplo, en el caso de el rose, tenemos que es un shade of the red, es un, una parte de la gama del rojo, que es ese que se llama rose, que se llama rosa pero no estamos hablando del pink, estamos hablando de rosa la flor, rose, el color de una rosa. Luego tenemos el tomato red, el rojo del tomate. No es el mismo rojo normal, no es el mismo rojo que conocemos, sino que es tomato red, el rojo de los tomates. También tenemos el fire engine red, que es como una máquina de fuego, un, un dispositivo, ¿verdad?, que está... a, a que contiene fuego, también tenemos ese color. Tenemos el color del vino, del wine, que también es parte de la gama del rojo. We have blood red, que es el color de la sangre. Eh, y tenemos algunas eh, frutas, ¿verdad? Algunos frutos que también estamos utilizando su shade of color. The next shade or the next color that we are going to see is this one. Is the shades of blue en the shades of yellow. Vamos a ver también la gama de los azules y de los amarillos. But we don't have just one yellow and one blue. No solamente tenemos un azul y un amarillo. No, we have a lot of colors that are part of this one. Tenemos muchos colores que son dependientes de el shade of blue and yellow. Son muchos otros colores que vamos a derivar de estos dos colores eh, bases. But in this case, we are going to see the other colors, the shade of, this, of these colors. Eh, tomorrow vamos a ver la gama de los azules y de los amarillos el día de mañana. Because we have um, not just the blue and yellow, we have also a gray, we have orange, we have black, white, gray, brown, and other colors that we are going to see. So we are going to end this session um, right now, and then we are going to uh, begin with the next session tomorrow. Vamos a terminar la sesión acá. 
y vamos a continuar el día de mañana con los Shades of Colors. Así que mañana continuamos con los colores y con los otros temas que vamos a desarrollar. So, we are going to end this session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow. So, have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow.